So here we are. We're just west of uh, Wichita Falls, Kansas, uh, on the High Plains. It's kind of funny because uh, last year, actually around this time, uh, I was making another coast-to-coast -coast run, and I was coming back from Connecticut, and I picked up a dog in Michigan, and uh, was heading back towards this way to drop him off in Arizona, and we actually stopped at this same exact uh, truck stop here, and uh, it was really windy, like it is today, but it was much windier last year when I had Charlie, the other dog. It was beautiful. Uh, it was like a, a Shepherd Doberman pincer mix. Didn't take video of it, though. But uh, maybe I did. I can't remember. I don't think I did. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I just I thought to myself, you know, years, hundreds, a couple hundred years ago, when the Indians still roamed out here, what it must have been like, you know, when the settlers came around, or the trappers even, and just there was no no settlers here, just just the Indians and trappers, you know, and uh, just traveling around out here. Now it's just all built up in cars and gas stations, and you got to pay tolls on this road, which I absolutely hate. But I've got, here's my other two transports. These are two German Shepherds. And um, they're going out to Cal back to California. I just finished up my transport. I'm really thirsty here. I just finished up my transport from California. From California to, uh, to Colorado. And then from Colorado on up here to uh, Kansas. And um, picked these guys up in Colorado. And they're going back down to, to Los Angeles with me. And uh, they're going to be placed in their forever homes, or they might even be going where they're going to the vet. They might even be staying with her for the, the rest of their lives. So we're just having fun bebopping back to California, and I'm really in no hurry to get back there. Uh, this is my first transport in quite a while uh, that I've done at any length of the transport, state to state anyway. But uh, I'm really happy, and uh, I was really down in the dumps. But, you know, to me, this, this is what it's all about, being out here and, and just, just living it, you know, and... and um, not getting paid much, but that's okay because I get to save lives and, I, and, I, and it affords me the liberty of being out on the road. Uh, the saving, saving lives part means more to me than anything, but, but being out here and being free, were, were, which is where I'm, I'm best, best at doing what I'm doing and being free and just, just traveling. It's a free-spirited thing, I guess. But uh, So I just wanted to show you all a little piece of, of what I do and these moments here. You can hear that the cicadas up there, they're in full 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 bloom if you want to call it that they're looking for a mate that's that noise you hear up there here it's starting up it sounds like a high-pitched whining motor so, anyway hey out there i'm tired so it's the high plains of uh Topeka, kansas wichita i'm sorry just outside of wichita just just west of wichita making our way towards texas I do live for this. I really do. I hope work really starts to pick it up now. I'm so into doing cross-country, coast-to-coast transports. This one was, was fun. It was fast, but it was fun, and it's still going on. Who knows? I might get a, a couple more in Texas or Oklahoma on the way back to California besides these two guys here. These guys are just real gems, and uh, they're, they're just so quiet and just nice and pleasurable. Typical German Shepherds, you know. That's it. I'm out.